Welcome back, Royal Fam, to the most royal of channels where the heroes fly and evil always meets his demise. I'm your host, Chino Boy. Yeah, baby. We got a banger for y'all today. I know, I know. Your boy is sorry, okay? Listen to me. You hear that? You hear that? You hear that? Oh, ooh, ooh. He heard that. I am sorry. I know just a lot has been going on. For y'all that don't know, Chino Royal, the music, the modeling, everything. everything. Stuff is starting to take off for your boy. Okay? This year, 2022, stand up. Stand all the way up. Royal is coming this year. What? Where are all my kings and queens? Definitely, you know, cop the hoodie. Cop the merch. Chino Royal. Dot store. Let's get it. You know? Man, just everything is starting to pop off. And it wouldn't be happening without you guys. I appreciate you guys. I love every single one of you guys. Just bear with me, okay? Bear with me, comic fans, okay? It's definitely going to be coming out. A lot more stuff is about to be coming out. I will be posting Tuesday, Thursday. Let me know down in the comments which one you like better, 3 or 4 p.m. Let me know a better time if that works for you, but this is probably going to be probably 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Tuesday, Thursday. Mark it on the calendar. Mark it on the calendar because I'm telling you, we're coming out with banger after banger after banger after bah. Okay, I'm telling you right now. Okay, like today, we're about to be reacting to the MCU's Loki. Okay, I don't know if any of you guys have seen the actual series. If you haven't, you are missing out. Okay, I am telling you that Loki. It's fire. I didn't think it was going to be fire. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Okay. I did not think it was going to be fire. But, bro, it blew my mind. It blew open the doors to a lot of other things that is going to be happening in the MCU alone. Um, we're going to be possibly even looking at Kang. Kang the Conqueror. Which I don't know a lot about Kang. We might go to Comics Explain to figure it out. But today we are looking at CBR. Shout out CBR. But uh, we're going to be also reacting to a lot of their videos. Also, if you are new to this channel, hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything that is happening on this channel. Because you also need to realize we are taking requests. Let me know down in the comments of any other character from the MCU, the DCU. Uh, it could be from... Porn. No, 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 pause, pause. No, it could be from Spawn. Any local comic group that is making a comic. Shout out Swagatrons, my boys. It could be anything, an anime. Let me know of any character you guys would like me or us to actually dive on into so we can actually learn. That's what this channel is all about. I, like I said, I appreciate all you guys, but without further ado, let's get on into it. Pull up on the time. Tell me Rumble man, you know, no, he's hungry. We in the jungle, only lying, no monkeys. Only us to let we are moving to blame a border. I don't bitch is bottom, but I'm fried, say, God, we are we hungry. Yeah, baby, are we hungry. Yeah, baby. Y'all already know what time it is. Shout out CBR for this video. The link is definitely in the description. So today, like I said, we're going to be learning about Loki and also fighting himself and future or future events, maybe. And also for sure, just the Loki series that is happening on Disney Plus. Shout out Disney Plus. Hook your brother up sometime. <laughs> you already know. Hook your brother up sometime. But anyway, that's for a different time. But we're going to be learning about Loki, a little bit more about what's going on with Loki, what's happening around Loki, what just MCU plans on doing with Loki in general. And yeah, you ready? You ready? Rome, you ready? Rome, you ready? I'm ready. Let's get it. What's better than one Loki running around causing mayhem? How about multiple Lokis running around causing mayhem? That's right, just when you couldn't be more excited for the Loki TV show, today's theory is going to completely blow your mind by suggesting Loki is going to be fighting a bunch of other Lokis in his series. Big thanks to Reddit's The Mediocre Critic for this theory, who is anything but mediocre if you ask me, for pointing this out. 
How exactly will it work? And what will it do for Loki's overall ki Okay, spoiler alert. I know that I said we're going to be learning a little bit more. We're going to be learning a little bit more uh, an opinionated view from CBR about what was possibly going to happen. Like I said, if you haven't seen it, this is probably the perfect video for you. This is also, for me, going to be an opinionated view on what he thought was going to happen in Loki. I've already seen Loki. To those who have already seen Loki, definitely check this video out. Stay tuned, because a lot's getting ready to leak out, okay? Character? Well, let's get into it right now. Avengers Infinity War was not playing around when it came to establishing the threat of Thanos the Mad Titan. The opening scene sees the Asgardians completely decimated and a broken down Thor at his most vulnerable. Loki is there and just when you think he might be trying to save his life by switching allegiances, he attempts a surprise attack on Thanos. Big mistake. Thanos responds by choking the life out of the trickster god. We've seen Loki fake his death before, so we the audience all were holding out hope that this was some sort of illusion. But sadly, that wasn't so. Our Loki that we had gotten to know and love was no more. But this is the MCU. No one ever really stays dead unless your name is Uncle Ben. True. Endgame found a way to not only bring Loki back to life, but also set him up for a new Disney Plus TV show centered around him. That's not too shabby. I think a good Thanos choking is a small price to pay for your own TV show. But obviously there's a twist. The Loki that we're following in the show is 2012 Loki, who was just defeated by the Avengers in half. Okay, this is very true. This is very true, but I did not know that. I mean, they kind of did the same thing with Black Widow, where it's just like as soon as she died after Endgame, they just came out with the movie about what she was doing, like before then, which was weird because, especially when me and Baby went to see it, it was just like I don't understand why they didn't just put this out before. Why do we need to see what's going on with her in this period of time after she's gone? But, you know, however they decide to unveil things is up to them. But right now, like the man said, this is going to be 2012 Loki when he disappeared with a Tesseract. Hasn't gone through his transformative goodish guy arc that we see in Thor The Dark World and Thor Ragnarok. Now, his shenanigans changing the timeline has caused a serious damage and the TVA recruits him to fix it. But why? As the trailers really make clear, Loki is the most untrustworthy ally you can have. He's literally stabbed people in the back like 50 times. Why is the TVA so invested in having Loki help them fix things? Besides the fact that they probably just want to be standing next to Tom Hiddleston, what if it's because the problems they're facing are other variant Lokis? Okay. Did Loki's actions with the Tesseract cause other variants of Loki throughout time to branch off and cause anomalies? Not only would that story give us more than double the Tom Hiddleston we're about to see on screen, but it would explain why Mobius M. Mobius enlists Loki's help. Frame everything you've seen in the trailers for Loki with that mindset and you'll see it makes a ton of sense overall. I'll True. say it again, our variant Loki has to hunt down all the various other variant Lokis that are now causing huge timeline discrepancies with their existence. That's why there's the scene of Loki having to sign off on everything he's ever said in his life. Yes, it's a funny scene at first, but why would that really be necessary? Because now other Lokis exist and with all the variants running- Okay, that makes a lot- of sense first of all because he did it was very confusing in the beginning it was exciting when he first got there you just don't know what's going on he's having to go through the like he said sign all that stuff you don't know what he's signing because they don't explain anything it just says sign right here on the dot but owen wilson who's playing that character like starts you know unwrapping unpacking a lot that's going on and you learn a lot about what's going on with the timeline, especially uh, what's going on in that moment, which I thought it had to do with Endgame, but it, 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 it just is another spur of the timeline that we didn't know at the time. So Marvel's just adding more descriptive or just writing more descriptions and more details when it has to do with just what's going on in that moment of time when it comes to the movies alone it's crazy because you thought that the movie would go movie 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 and then that's the timeline but they're just painting more pictures in 
with what's going on. Almost like Star Wars. Shout out Star Wars because you gotta, most fans wanna know what's going on in between each movie, which there's a lot of things that happen each, in between each movie. If you read just comics in general, they kinda, like there's times where they'll make a series where it just goes straight, like boom, 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 just one after the other. And then there's times where like, they'll even fill in those gaps of what happened. And it's crazy. Around, they have to preserve Loki's original timeline or something along those lines. This creates the most interesting direction for the show possible because this show should function in two ways. The first is obviously it should be a fun time travel show highlighting one of the MCU's best characters, but it also needs to help Loki grow into the person his other self became in the original timeline of things. And what better way to do that than for this Loki to meet other versions of himself to teach him different lessons? Wow. Kind of like a Christmas character but with more superheroes and general mischief. Anyway, True. look at all the different Lokis we see in the trailer alone, and a lot of it is questionable unless you consider that these may not all be the same Loki. Just briefly, we catch glimpses of a rundown, seemingly President Loki, a Loki sitting on the throne of Asgard, a possible old Loki, and even glimpses of Lady Loki, among others. All of this makes more sense if you consider that Loki will be fighting Loki variants, and it makes Mobius's line of wanting Loki's unique Loki perspective all the more ironic. What this will do overall is allow Loki to confront different extreme versions of himself, and by facing those doppelgangers, Loki will undergo a dramatic character transformation that turns him into the fun anti-hero we know he can be. But so what, right? Where does this all lead? Right. Just like it took Wanda eight episodes to become the Scarlet Witch, and it took Sam six episodes to become Captain America, the question is, who will Loki be at the end of his series? Okay. After he defeats all the variants and learns how to be a generally better individual than what he was, what's going to happen to him? He's a variant after all, and I think the Loki show is going to reinforce that variants shouldn't exist. Are we in for a second Loki death in the MCU? How tragic would that be? Both times that Loki becomes a hero, he has to die. Or is the MCU going to find a way around that? By dispatching all the other variants, will the TVA allow this Loki to live? But only if he continues working. Let me know your guys' theory down in the comments. But my theory is that they're planning on bringing Loki back. There's no way with Thor still moving and gradually becoming who he's going to become in the MCU. I feel like they it's almost like a Batman Joker situation, except... You know, the brothers and the both. Like, he, Loki is more of an anti hero in my mind, but who he has been developed and why they keep, you know, developing him, I believe that they're going to find a way to bring him back. That this is just going to explain a little bit on how he could possibly be brought back. Uh, if you watch the actual series, there was a moment where they fell into this, this realm where these Lokis were and it was pretty much where everything went to die and there was this cloud monster that would pretty much if it touched you you'd be dis you would disintegrate and it would be nothing after that now it's crazy how they how they developed this and how they told this story because the way that they said it was when you die it's almost like on a computer when you get deleted, you go into this folder, you would go into this one realm that would just process you to be, or you would await to be deleted. And when you would, would you, when you would wait to be deleted, you'd pretty much just, you wouldn't know how long you would be there. And you'd pretty much fight to stay alive, which is what all the Lokis were there doing. When he fell into this realm, there was a bunch of Lokis that found him and they were basically helping him basically give him giving him a tutorial on how to stay alive where they are now what they learned is pretty much that there's this cloud that if it touched you or it, what he learned is there's a cloud what happened if it touched you you would disintegrate boom it'd basically be like if you press the delete button when you were in the trash nothingness just complete black but what i feel like they are setting it up is since he's in the trash technically in the real MCU timeline that they're going to find a way through that to pull him back out that's that's my whole theory 
Let me know your guys' theory down in the comments, but let's see if he has anything else to say about it. King for them? That would be a solid setup for a second season. Or could we see a situation where someone like Mobius is supposed to kill Loki at the end of this series to wipe out loose ends, but decides to let him go instead? I legitimately don't know which version I like more, but I do know that I can't handle Loki dying horribly a second time. Nope. And hey, if this allows him to eventually have a Thor reunion, I'm all for it. I really don't want a Phil Coulson situation where the character dies in the movie, is brought back for a TV show, but then there's never a situation where he reveals himself alive to people like Thor. Yes. Fingers crossed he shows up in Thor Love and Thunder, you know, as long as he lives that long. Now, Loki can go ahead and fight as... But shout out CBR, link's gonna be in the description. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode and any other character, like I said, that you guys would like us to see. Shout out Disney Plus for the Loki series. Check it out if you haven't checked it out. It is completely dope. And I'm letting you know that we are sticking to the guns. All right, I'm definitely going to be posting Tuesday and Thursday, 4 p.m. Check it out. If you haven't, look at the Facebook page. Look at the Facebook group. Look at the Instagram Royal Comics. All that should be down in the description or it should be up top. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys stay royal. Hope you guys are having a fantastic year or a kickoff to your year. But like I said, stay royal out there. Peace. <laughs> Drinks.